Welcome to the project demonstration of solar water purification system. So here the flow of the power is left from the solar panel. We are going to recharge this battery. So for water purification system, we need to use the main parts of cartridge filters and UV lamp filter and addition of salts and minerals. So in order to pass the water throughout these cartridges and UV lamp power supply, we need to provide this uh, battery as well as to water pumping purpose we need to use the booster pump so this is the main electronic device and EV lamp is electronic device in our project to run these two we are going to provide the power supply from the battery and as we know that battery is a rechargeable battery we can recharge that with the help of uh, renewable source like solar panel and whenever the solar power is not available we can charge this battery with the help of transformer so once the battery is fully charged so that we can on the system then the system will on this booster pump so the booster pump will take the water from the uh, inlet so the main water inlet pump and from there to the pre filters and then after sedimentation filter and then the output is input to the RO so from the RO the water will be rejects and it will be reverse, reverse osmosis nothing but it keep on filtering the water once the purified water will be passes through the UV lights and from there UV light to the salinity cartridge and from there to the mineral cartridge and from there to the direct purified water tank. So this is a reject water tank and water inlet and purified water tank here. So the water will be passes through this booster pump uh, forcibly it will pump the water through the cartridges. So let us see demonstration. So the final demonstration should be connected with solar panel as we can see the low intensity of light as the low sunlight is available on the solar panels so if you want to charge a battery from the transformer whenever there is no sunlight available connect the transformer at the t slots disconnecting the solar panel and on the power supply to the transformer so there we can see the light indication so the recharge timing for the battery either from the transformer or solar panel that is six hours minimum minimum nothing but transformer is minimum is okay but coming to the sunlight so the solar panel should be placed under the full sunlight at least of 6 hours the maximum of 8 hours and after the duration automatically these diodes in this charging circuit will block the current flow from the transformer or solar panel to the battery pack so coming to this battery pack here we can see the 6 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series here so 6 into 4, 24 volts, 24 volt, 24 volt. So each row is going to be the 24 volt 1 amp, 24 volt 1 amp, 24 volt 1 amp. So these three are in parallel. So we will get 24 volt 3 amps of current. So which is uh, perfectly sufficient and we can run the system at least of 6 hours once the battery is fully charged. So after the time charging done, then disconnect that and disconnect the transformer while project demonstration connect the solar panel over there and this is the main on off switch so before on that fill the water inlet tank full and you can empty the uh, both reject and mineral tankers like output tankers so you can see the water flow is decreasing and we can see the so let us fill the actually both uh, total cartridges are empty which till the water to be added inside the cartridges so as we are demonstrating the empty cartridges Now the water is coming now. So is the reject water slowly it will increase. Right now the flow is increasing water. Same for the outlet water tanker that is the main purification water, right? You can see that. So this is mainly useful for the soldiers or in desert areas if you want to do the water purification. So in the real time we can make this as portable with high wattage solar panels and lithium ion batteries. As of now we are using the dry acid batteries. 
so their weight and size was more compared to the lithium ion batteries and lithium polymer batteries in the future scope we can add those features also